it's Amy with the Hagrid's. Um, hold on one second. Okay, got a little bit more light in there. I'm losing the light. It's getting later in the day. Um, so there's just not as much light. Whew, a little bit out of breath. Sorry. Um, so today I'm coming uh, not to talk about a book, or I think I'm still recovering from yesterday's uh, video about this is where it ends because I was so hoping that was just going to be a good book and I just didn't uh, feel that way at the end of it. Um, today I'm going to talk about a used uh, book haul from my library. Uh, I went in a couple of days ago to pick up the books I saw that you saw in the last uh, haul that I did. Um, and uh, I hadn't been in in a while. My son had been going and just picking up onesie twosies. Um, so I hadn't been in their used bookstore for a while, and um, they had actually a lot of stuff uh, that was in their 25 cents area. Ooh, and I know what, I totally forgot one. Hold on. Okay, so um, I picked up a couple of things for our library. I picked up a couple of things to use in mixed media. Um, it was just nice to go in and find books for 25 cents, first of all, because most of the books at my uh, library store are two dollars and up uh which is a good price for a used book definitely it's way less than um what you would pay for it used uh, you know from ebay uh from paperback swap from uh thrift bookstores typically the cheapest you can find it online is um th two or three ninety nine and usually you have to purchase two or three books to get free shipping and that is a good deal. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that's not a good deal. But we don't have the type of uh, charity shops here or used bookstores um, that apparently everybody else has. Um, or possibly because I don't have a car that I don't find these types of places. But I have not experienced it here in the Scottsdale Phoenix area where I can go in and find hardbacks for a dollar or uh, used paperbacks for a quarter or 50 cents. That never happens to me, like almost never. And when I usually when I look at the quarter books at the library, there is nothing in there that anybody would actually be interested in reading. And that's a, typically the books I pick up for mixed media. Um, they're gonna get scrapped eventually anyway. Twenty five cents is their last bid. Please take this book off our hands. Um, so uh, everything that I got at this library hall. I got for a dollar or less per item and I just realized that the most exciting books for my son are in his room I we found some that he was just totally in love with hold on all right so I'm just gonna dive right into this uh, first book was a dollar and these are the ones my son found in the in the kids book area um, It's a German kindergarten, uh, they're basically good night stories, you know, nighttime stories, so bedtime stories. And I flipped through it, and he flipped through it, and he was so excited. German is one of the languages that he's working on, and they seem to be kind of, um, um, Hans Christian Andersen type of stuff. But uh, the, the artwork is kind of interesting on the front. And everything in there, you know, it's pretty short. You know, it's a little thing you could tell your kid before bedtime. And it seems to be kind of, I want to say in the lines of, like, Hans Christian Andersen, uh, you know, the morality tales, that sort of thing. They're just meant to be little things that you can read off to a kid right before bedtime. And so he was super excited because we've never found any kids' books uh, in any other language except Spanish. And then the next one uh, that he, these were all in a lot, so I imagine they came from the same family. Um, or, or, well this one obviously came from a family, there's no library markings. These are taken out of the library. Um, Everyday Words in German, which is, uh, it's got like a picture of the, of, you know, And then it's got the words in German for what it is. 
So there's stuff in the house, transportation, uh, farm animals, you know, here's the classroom. So very basic stuff, very brightly pictures. Um, they're just so charming, and he was so excited to find something in German, uh, not English German, like this is for people who are German um, teaching their children things, uh, and that's really what he wants. And this is a uh, Just Look and Learn German Picture Dictionary, 1,500 words for beginning German learners. And I think it's great that this is aimed towards younger readers, you know, because that's the time to expose your kids to uh, foreign languages. Um, so it's got pictures and little descriptions in German. Um, and then it's got, this one has an English translation at the bottom of what's being said in German. But they're just fun. And then here's, you know, you've got in the back, you've got the numbers and stuff. So, uh, so excited. He was so excited about these. <laughs> he was just beaming for days uh, a couple of days we went on friday is when we got these and uh it was his day off and uh no it would have been saturday it was his day off and we went early and we got a coffee there because they have a, a coffee shop that's associated with a charity for autism and so um i think it's 10 percent or something goes to autism research if you buy um your beverages there so we always buy a coffee or something while we're there um, so we had gotten our coffee, and we were just browsing around, and he was like, oh, I'll go into, even though I, you know, he's, I never find anything. And we were just looking around, and I had, what I was looking at was on the other side where he found this, were uh, the the YA books, because sometimes you find fun things that are, that are there. I have never seen these, and uh, my son tells me that they've been out for a while, and there are a lot of them. But I found these two books, uh, this Fallout and Tricks, and I flipped it open, you know, I thought, oh my god, what a big fat book, and I picked it up to see what it was, but it's written in prose style, so it's stories told as poems, and I have never seen this before, um, geared towards YA, and these came out of somebody's personal library, they're not, uh, that's not a decommissioned library book. Um, and these are probably actually going to be for mixed media. Uh, be fun to do some poems and uh, maybe make poetry out of poetry. I don't know. This could be fun for blackout poetry. Um, I was just, just surprised. And these were um, 50 cents each, so can't go wrong there. Um, also for mixed media, I picked up this uh, you know, foreign languages are always fun to work with uh, for mixed media because it's different than what you're used to. And this covers, you know, the last one that I got uh, was just a tiny little thing. Um, but this has larger pages, and I think I can get some good backgrounds out of this. You know, it's just fun to use, and this was a dollar also. For my personal library, I lucked out and found copies of Wicked by Jerry Maguire, and there's my little 25 cent sticker. I was so excited to find this. It's in pretty good shape. It's got a little shelf wear to it, not too bad. But I also got a copy of Confessions of the Ugly Step Stepsister, also by Jerry Mag Gregory Maguire. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Jerry. Um, <laughs> like Gregory Maguire. And I have only read Wicked, um, which is a good book, but which I did not ultimately, like, I can't fangirl about it. It's a it's a really good book, but it is super depressing. <laughs> um, that is not a happy book, and I imagine all of them are kind of the same. I'm not going to be happy, but I will be glad. That if, I'm sorry, it's hot. I have to take this off. It got down to in the 80s, uh, the, the today, tomorrow, uh, the next day, I think for four days total. Um, the, high is, the highest high is supposed to be like 87, and that's today. And so we're hitting, uh, the sun is starting to set, and so the heat of the day is living fully in my living room right now, uh, so it's a little warm. Also for mixed media use, uh, this was $1. I love dictionaries for mixed media use. I especially love 
uh, illustrated dictionaries. And this one doesn't have very many. Um, like on every two-page spread, there's one or two pictures. Um, but dictionaries are very fun to do for mixed media. Um, almost always can find something to do with that. And I have several different kinds, sizes, uh, thickness of paper, uh, degrees of yellowness, you know. It's fun to have a variety of them. And sometimes if you want to work with a specific word or you find yourself working in a theme, um, hence more dictionaries because you use the same sections over and over again. Um, and then uh, this is a German book. So uh, also for mixed media, just for the pages and the foreign language. Um, these are particularly fun on ATCs. They and um, with the condition of the paper, this is a little thicker. Uh, it's a little, it's tan. Uh, it's got some, you know. I don't know what they call it when the pages show their age, but uh, this one was for mixed media too, and this one was um, fifty cents. So uh, almost done. Only two books left to go. I just happened to glance over at a shelf that there was like five people around and on the end this was sticking up where I could see it and it's just says the herb book and so I just kind of slid it right out of there and uh, took it over to the corner to take a look at it and I was so excited because it's a literally the herb book it's about you know here's just some about herbs like information and then it has a section uh, for uh, bath, beauty, moisturizing, using herbs and oils. Uh, and then it goes into cooking and recipes. And these are good classic recipes with nice pictures. You know, I was very excited about this. It's a, uh, it's a cloth bound book. And then I opened it up and I was like, oh, this will be a couple dollars. Um, <laughs> and what I thought was funny. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait. <coughs> oh, so sorry. Um, what I thought was funny was here's the library's 25 cent sticker. This is a yard sale tag for $5. And uh, it says books $5 in 0103 James Junk number 3555. So maybe this was for like a community sale or uh, something like that or where it went to a church um, and they were keeping track of who was selling what. I don't know, but I just thought it was funny that I got it for a quarter and uh, it had been previously for sale at some type of uh, yard sale or charity event uh, for $5. I was super happy to pick that up and my son was just as excited as, as a matter of fact. Um, before uh, yesterday it had been living in his room and then the last book I picked up uh, which will probably go on paperback swap when I'm done I can't imagine uh, wanting to continue owning it uh, all of the paperback books of this nature um, at my library are 50 are on a 50 cent rack unless they're super super popular then they'll put them someplace else for more so I got this for 50 cents um, and I picked it up specifically for my Halloween reading. This is um, Darkness Tell Us. So there's a comma after darkness. So it's Darkness Tell Us um, by Richard Lehman. And I um, saw this on somebody else's video. Maybe I want to say uh, Cat's Corner. Um, and maybe one other place. But I have seen this recently on BookTube. And I saw it there on the shelf. And I was like, ah. And I so I snagged it. Um, for 50 cents right on and that is all I have um, so you can bet that I'll be reading darkness tell us uh, for my uh, spooktober or my 31 days of Halloween um, and uh, this is the video for the 30th of September so tomorrow starts the 1st of October so that's when I'll start talking about my 31 days of uh, horror uh, my spooktober as it were uh, in books and movies so oh and what's even better is that whole pile I just showed you six dollars and seventy five cents not bad at all because everything was a dollar or less and quite a few of those were actually on the um, the quarter shelf 
Um, I was super excited about the, uh, the Gregory Maguire books because I almost never see those anywhere used. Um, obviously, you can get them like at uh, thrift books or paperback swap. No, not paperback swap because I have some on my wish list on paperback swap and there hasn't been one uh, for a good long time. But certainly eBay. I could get them for 2 or $3, but coming across them, not specifically looking for them for a quarter super score very exciting under 20 minutes not too bad i will be back tomorrow with my first of october video it should be uh, exciting for me i don't know about for you hopefully you'll find it exciting too um i have a couple of cookbooks that i just picked up from the library uh, my son's bringing them home tonight so i'll probably talk about those a little bit tomorrow and then uh we'll talk i'll talk about whatever horror movie that i watch and um hopefully i can finish the book i'm reading uh, and uh, be able to talk about the tomorrow is my very first horror book for October. I will see you tomorrow. Happy whatever time of day it is for you. If you've watched to the end, thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye.